especially made for blind people. We know that blind people have to struggle to read. So the present method that is used, it's a embossing method. So once you emboss some dots on the paper, you can't change it. What our mechanism enables is, once if you want to read an e-book, you can just trans translate that e-book to a braille language and that will enable the mechanism to show the, the pages, whatever it is there in the page. The current mechanism which is available in the market, it's, it costs about 70,000. If you want to print a book that costs about 10 lakhs, the first book, the copies may cost up to 40,000. What our method does is the whole project, which will uh, almost consist of six to seven blocks, sorry, uh, 100 blocks, which will cost about 20,000. Uh, the current, if you have uh, seen Shark Tank, uh, the uh, project name Annie was shown in that. So it consists only six blocks and which costs about 70,000. So this is our main principle. If you see that diagram, the yellow thing is a pin which will be felt by the user. The surface, the top surface, once the pin's pin crosses that, the user will touch it and it will show some alphabet or some kind of that. The green thing which you can see is the locking pin. Once the spring actuates and the pin goes up, the locking pin will actuate and it will uh, cause the pin to stay there. What the current system does is because it's uh, operated by piezoelectric cells, it's very, uh, what we can say, very light. Due to which the hard, uh, hard touch users can't use it. The pins may uh, come below the surface due to the hard touch users. What our mechanism does is it, it allows the hard touch users also operate this. <coughs> this is the exploded view. So these are the springs which actuate and un unlock the springs, the locking plates. This is the cam. This is the pawl and rocker mechanism. This is the top surface from which the pins go up and down. These are the pins which will be felt by the user. These are the locking plates which will actuate and disengage. This is the main block which supports the locking plates. And these are the comb spins which will allow the up and down motion of the pin. Now going to the next slide, my friend Vishal will explain the project. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Vishal. So to, to describe our cases, uh, this, you know, this helps uh, to read e-books. Uh, our main focus will be to, to read the uh, uh, to read the uh, books. So it helps uh, blind people to learn brain languages, and uh, it would be very easy. Uh, uh, our friend Veer Kumar has uh, designed an app uh, through which uh, a user can type uh, alphabets uh, and. Uh, it would be reflected on this block, uh, so the user can interact with this block. Uh, here is the prototype you can see. Uh, for now, we have 3D printed the block. If we go for optimum manufacturing methods, this will be more cheaper and more lighter. Uh, it, it will be better if we can pass through all the... If you want, you can also see. the top and side view. It pretty much explains the working. So these, this is the cam which will unlock the locking place. The pin will be pushed by the strings. These are the pin strings which will activate. So you can see this and these are the pins coming out of this. So this works on the principle of matrix. Every individual dot is controlled into it individually. So this is what makes it simpler and Afford it. That's it. Any questions? Same question. Yeah.
Yeah, we had a yeah, we did. session last time. Yeah. But still, maybe uh, on account of this smart hackathon, the basic objective of this hackathon competition is we should have an uh, innovative idea which will be directly useful to the uh, real life application or maybe industry. Hmm. So, what is the main objective of your this idea? So, the main objective will be for the children. Reduce the cost. First, what I First is to reduce the cost. The second will be to uh, tease the brain language to the children which can't afford the classes or all that. What we are doing is we are adopting a software which allows the translation of uh, simple text to brain language. By doing that, we will be uh, controlling the motors by Arduino and that will, if uh, a person uh, opens a book and the first page consists of A, B, C, D, so the four blocks will show A, B, C, D. So this is the way the user will learn. Power supply is necessary. It's just a 5 volt DC. You can control it by a lot. Suppose the power supply is not there. Power supply. So 5 volt. So sometimes in the rural India. Yeah. In both areas, there is an electricity problem. Yeah. You mentioned about the light touch, no? Yes. So that is uh, depressing. That is the problem for existing. Yes. yes sir. In your case, it is not there. No, sir. Yes. What is another advantage? So yes. another advantage will be the robust design and the durability. The current mechanisms won't last up to more even 10 years because the piezoelectric cells just die out. Yeah. What is the duration for that? So it's, a, it's not more than 10 years for now, according to the user uh, review. Or some paper. From where you got this information? Uh, so this information, we uh, went to the site of that product and we read the customer reviews for that. No, no. Is there any uh, uh, paper and some authentic, uh, there must be some authentication, <laughs> what are the data you are uh, giving? Yes, sir. There is a Bangalore startup which started around 15 years ago. They had a similar design. We tweaked that design into a simpler design. That design uh, had to involve some more complex mechanisms. So that can't be understood uh, understood by any simple person. You have to have some mechanical knowledge for that. So this is a, just a simple design. So if the operator wants, then he can total cost the, for now? the cost for now that we have 3D printed is about uh, 3,000. If we uh, out of optimum manufacturing process, it will reduce up to 20,000. For, for your uh, case, for block is reduced. Total blocks to uh, read A to Z letters alphabet. Whether your blocks are reduced or you are using same. Sir, uh, you can uh, increase the blocks, sir. Other system can't increase the blocks. Hmm. Due to the piezoelectric cell, the length of that cell is very large. So that's the reason you can't fix consecutive cells one after the other, making a equal size. the length of that uh, your block? So for now, uh, space of the block which I just passed, it is about uh, 3 is to 1 scale. So if we yeah. need a 1 is to 1 scale, then we can fit about 100 blocks so in total a How much your traveling is there for the hand? Uh, so total surface or the total length, so that that blind person should cover that much length. The it same dimensions of an A4 size paper. So the, it should be within the reachable area, no? Yeah. Yes. So how much it is? Uh, so the whole block, the whole cluster no, no. of the blocks. The, what are the pins you are showing? No? Okay, one block, some pins, six yes. or twelve. Yes. How many blocks are there? How much total length for that? So they will. Uh, considering the A4 size page, <coughs> we will be uh, fitting hundred blocks in that, approximately. So we will only no, take no, that size of the ecosystem. Suppose so that block length is up to that level. How one person, uh, that blind people is going to move up to that level? That's a so whether it is a reachable area or what? Yes, yes sir. Exactly. It is reachable because for um, for example, like a letter for characteristic. I want dimension. It, it consists of uh, lots of alphabets. So that's the reason they are levels of the language. So if you if the user is uh, knowing the level of, la uh, knowing the language of level two, he can just read that same spelling in three to four blocks. How much total uh, length, length and width or dimensions? So we don't think it, it will be more than uh, 10 centimeters. 10? Okay. 10 or 15 centimeters, that's it. So that you should have that. Yes. Because I want to read A to Z letters, then what will be the total probable length of your total system? Okay. So we are using a software, uh, which is, uh, I don't remember the name, but it's a free source software. You can, anyone open can source? Do, open source. Then you go at the national level for smart hackathon. Then there is a 